All right, the world's largest trade show for mobile devices is open this morning in Spain. Brands like BlackBerry, LG, and Nokia unveiled new phones at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. But the embattled tech giant Samsung did not. Instead, the tech company announced two new tablets and teased ahead to a new phone announcement in March. Dan Ackerman, senior editor at our partner CNET, is with us now. Dan, good morning. Hey, guys. So why no new Samsung phone? You know, I think maybe they wanted to put a little more breathing room between the report that came out in January where they went into great detail about what went wrong with those Note 7 phones that were catching on fire. And they also wanted to have, you know, their own, their own event. Apple always does this. They have their own event. They kind of own the day. So Samsung and other big companies like to have their own events now, so they put this off till late March here in New York for what we presume is going to be the uh, Galaxy S8. There were 2.5 million Note 7 phones that were recalled. Will a new phone help them redeem their reputation? You know, this was a really bad problem because the phones started to catch on fire and then the replacement phones had the same problem. That being said, I knew some people who were such big fans of that phone that they didn't want to give them up even after the recalls. Yeah. So I think the brand does still have a lot of goodwill and they're very committed now, they say, to testing, to safety. This new phone may be, you know, the safest phone ever made. Mm -hmm. Does BlackBerry still have goodwill? Because Anthony has his, Both I still them. have mine. And I feel, Dan, you are judged when you pull out your BlackBerry. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Anthony, not judged in a good way. No. <laughs> well, now, you know, we're kind of going back to the future because one of the big hits uh, of the show is this new BlackBerry that combines that BlackBerry keyboard and a lot of the BlackBerry software with a with the standard Android smartphone. Yep. It's actually not made by BlackBerry. They're licensing the name to another company, uh, TCL. Uh, but it looks like a cool way to kind of bring back something that we used to like and put it into a new phone because we've kind of, we, we kind of hit a plateau in terms of these phones. You know, yeah, the, that's the, an the interesting plan. point. I still love my keyboard. That's why I keep it. I love There's it. A certain hardcore keyboard audience and yeah. they have not been well served over the last few years so this could be what they're looking so for. So speaking of old is new, the Nokia phone, I remember <laughs> that was my first cell phone. They're coming back with something? Everybody mm -hmm. had one of these phones and, and again this is a case where it's not the original company, it's sort of been sub-licensed and they were sold to Microsoft and this is another version. They're bringing back that Nokia 3310, that candy bar phone everybody had and I think it's really interesting because they've updated it a little bit but it's almost, there's almost some hipster cred to having a retro <laughs> phone, a dumb phone, a feature phone as they call it because you can't put iOS or Android apps on it. It's almost the most secure phone you can get. Yeah, you kind of answer. I was wondering, why is the old stuff coming back? You know, people feel like they're almost too distracted by all the apps and, and interaction opportunities with these fancy new phones. Maybe it's nice to go back to something that's more traditional. And here's the real key. You can leave this thing sitting around for like a month and the battery will still have some charge yeah. in it, yeah, unlike like our that. current phones. We've got to plug them in every night. Yeah. Meanwhile, Apple's like announcement a... doesn't come until September, but it's we're coming up on 10 years on the iPhone. 10th anniversary iPhone. This is wow. all prelude to whatever they're going to do in the fall. All right, Dan Ackerman, thanks.